Have you ever wondered how to build your own pipe roulette game? So you can play with your friends and see how lucky you get? Then this video is just for you. What is up guys, Remedy9 here. And Brand Panda Gamers here. Today, we are going to show you how to build your own pipe roulette game, so, like Brandon said, you can play it with your you can play it with your friends. And the reason why I have Brandon here with me is because Brandon is actually the one who came up with the game of with me. We came we came up with mm -hmm. it together and he was he, he, he was helping me build it when we first played it like two years ago. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically we're gonna be going over like how to build the arena. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly like ours. Like you can customize it in your own way. Because as you as, as you guys have seen, the Piper Light Arena has definitely changed over time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can also set how many pipes you want as well. well yeah, it does, the arena. Yeah, it doesn't have to be thirty. Like we had sixteen before, and then we had twenty, and then it, eventually it went up to what it is now, thirty. But John put thirty-five in one of them. <laughs> Word of advice, if you guys ever let John set up your Piper Let game, don't! <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> In other words, just be careful with John around. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, John! <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody is wondering, the map that we do this game in is actually called GM Megastruct 13, but you can do this in any map that has an open space. We just decided yeah. to use this one because this one has a very open space and we thought it would be good. Um, yeah, it's a bit more open space, but if you guys want to do, I guess for starters, you guys can try and construct just for a starter Gmod map. Yeah, the reason why we decided to do it in this map is because we didn't just want to make a video in Gmod Construct because that's boring, <laughs> right? <laughs> but anyway, so there are there actually are some required add-ons you need, and I'll throw them on screen right now. So you're going to need the resizer tool, LED screens, Team Fortress 2 letters, and these material packs that I'm showing on screen. These are all the add-ons that you will need to subscribe to in order to fully build Pipe Roulette like we do. Or you can do it in your own way, but these add-ons yeah. are highly recommended for this. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and go over the basics of how to build a Pipe Roulette base, I guess you could say. So first what we like to do is we like to start with building a pipe first. So what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to hold Q to open up the, your menu. Go to, go to spawn lists here, and then open up the menu where it says your spawn lists. And then Builder and Plastic. You can see I'm already in the menu. But if you click on Plastic, then this will show up. This is all the stuff that we're going to be using in order to build this um, arena. So yeah, what we use for the pipes is, is down here under tubes. Literally, it's literally a tube. And we use uh, <laughs> the longest one, which is 4x4x16. Four by four by so if I go ahead and spawn it, you can see there it is. Now... If you try to build it right now, as you can see, if I try to build it, use my physics gun, and try to put it on top right now... Oh, oh no, oh, what's happening? Ah, pfft. Yeah, it's, you can see it's not going to work at all. So, what you, so what you want to do is, once you put it on the ground, you want to right-click to lock it in place. So now, when anything interacts with it, you can see it will not move, no matter what. Yeah, so like, for... Oh, shit, that was the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> so like for example, if I did try to put it right now, and then yeah, you see it's not falling over, so you don't, so you know you don't have to worry about messing up. Yeah. Now it, it is kind of hard to connect the two together to get it perfect, especially when they're when you know colliding like that. You can see that looks a little bit messy. So what we like to do is we like to hold C and then hover over the over the object. Then you want to right click on it, and then you want to click on disable collisions. Now if you notice when that happens. It's literally not interacting with the thing at all. You, it, it can go right through it. Now, the reason why we like to do that is because it's actually it actually makes it a lot easier to go into the pipe now here and actually like place it like this. Recommendation, by the way, uh, if you're doing this while no clipping like I am now, it's recommended you hold control so that you move slowly. Like I'm moving really slowly right now, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Keep refining this until you like it. Yep. That, look, that looks pretty good. Right, let's see, right around... I would say so, there. yeah. yeah. It looks pretty that, good from here. That, that looks pretty good. So, you, you don't have to make them as tall as we do, because already this looks pretty tall, and honestly, you can still play the game like this, but let's go ahead and add a third one yeah. anyway. So, like I said, hold C, right-click, disable collisions, and then grab it, and then 
Put it overlap it. Let's go in here so we can see better. Overlap it. And right about there. That looks alright. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so as you can see, um, we have a pipe. So now mm -hmm. what you want to start building the top. So you might be wondering, like, how do we make it look like a floor that has holes in it? Well, now we're going to start one of using uh, these things up here, which is, um, the, they're called plates. And the ones that we use are actually 4x4, four four, so this one. But there is a certain mm -hmm. one here somewhere, as soon as I find it. Oh, it's actually in the tube section. You can see plate hole 4x4. Four four. If you spawn that, look, it's literally a plate with a hole in it where the pipe would go. Mm -hmm. So you go ahead and grab it. And again, hold C, right click, disable collision. And then you overlap it to make as best you can to make it look like it's a, a pipe and there's like a hole or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Huh, I think I nailed it. <laughs> oh, not quite. Yeah, not quite, but yeah. And yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So now we can start doing the thing. Again, same process, disable collision. Drag this up here. And then you want to match it. You want to match the floor here as best you can. So let me move, move in a little closer. Right there. Yeah, like, it doesn't have to be perfect, because this is this is really hard. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, this is one thing that you do have to remember, and I'm not going to lie, I have forgotten this a few times, because right now, if I try to stand on it, I fall right through it. The reason why is because we disable collision to so we can have an easier time positioning it. Once you're finished building, be sure to right-click again and enable collisions again, because now... Yeah, so that way you can now stand on it. Yeah. I think I, I think I forgot to do that with these other ones. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So now, you know, we can walk on this thing, we can walk around this pipe, and then once we fall in, we hit the side, and boom. One tool that we definitely recommend using is probably like a duplicator, just so you, you're you already set up here. You don't have to like actually spawn in and all. Especially if you're going to put a material on this thing. The duplicator, as you can see, is under Tools, Construction, uh, Duplicator, right here. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on this block here. And as you can see, there's been an outline of it placed. And then I'm going to put it right about here. And then, I'm, again, I'm going to disable collision on it. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to drag it until the edges match. Like so. Let me zoom in so and make sure it, 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 it is kind of recommended that you do line up the lines so that even if you put a material on it, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. But if you're just building it for the hell of it and you don't want to do that, then that's also fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I would try to be a little more of a perfectionist if I was making this for a video, but this is just a tutorial. This is just giving you guys a general idea how to do it. And again, remember <laughs> to hold C, right click and enable collisions again so you can walk on it like that. Yeah. So already you can see this is starting. This is starting to form. So uh, yeah. Now we're gonna put another floor right here and another floor right here, and we're gonna basically cover up all uh, four sides of this pipe with a floor, and then we'll, and then we'll work on adding another pipe. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up time so you can watch me and Brandon do it. Okay, so as you can see, we have a platform with a hole in the middle of it. <laughs> you can see it's coming around. So now we're going to work on building a second uh, pipe. Now, this time, we're not actually going to start with the pipe and build from the ground up. We're actually going to start from the top. And the reason why is because um, if you start building from the ground up, there's a chance that it's not going to, it's not going to fit. It's going to be disproportionate. So we're actually going to spawn... Mm -hmm the plate with the hole in it first, which is right here. We're going to spawn that first and actually, you know, align it here and then we'll start building the pipe. 
Mm -hmm. Because you want to align, because you want to make sure it's aligned with everything else. Whoops, I accidentally enabled collision again. <laughs> As you can see, I, I missed. I went off center. So let's go ahead and move it over here. You can you can tell like where the block is because of the outline here, but there we go. Yep. It's recommended that the pipes are that the pipes are lined up, but if you don't want to do that, you just want to be silly, then sure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're actually gonna, like I said, we're gonna build this pipe from the top. So let's go ahead and spawn a tube. And we're actually gonna drag it all the way up here. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And like I said, disable collision just so we can align it. Dun dun dun. Did I look up my right? Yeah, that looks good. Alright, enable collision again. Spawn another tube. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> you, you go ahead and spawn the bottom one. I'll go ahead and align this one. Um, okay, so now we want to make the edges line up. So like I like I was showing you guys earlier, except we're going top to bottom instead of on top. And... Like I said at the very beginning, right-click to freeze it in place. And then enable collision again. Not quite. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I know. I was just trying to get inside. Oh yeah, it's already on, it's already on the floor or the grass side. That looks pretty good. There we go. Yeah. All right. So now we can also go ahead and start building platforms around this, like so. So it, just keep repeat just keep repeating the same process over and over again until you get the amount of pipes that you want. Mhm. Mm it's, it's the same thing over and over again. Rinse and repeat. Yep. It does require a lot of patience, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Setting up the arena can be pretty hard, but luckily when luckily with Gmod, it, you can have saves, so if you want to... Yeah. If you don't want to build the arena, this whole arena again, you can always save it. Yes, but we'll talk... Yes, but we'll talk about that a bit in, in a bit. Now, I know you guys are thinking, you know, we're building the arena, but it doesn't quite look right, right? Well... This is when materials come into play, and you know how you know how I mentioned that you guys are going to need material packs for this. Well, this is exactly why. Some of the pipes we use are from that material pack. Let's go ahead and talk about the floor. So the material that we use for the floor is called Phoenix. Oops, Phoenix Storms slash Cube. There we go. Phoenix Storm slash Cube. If we click on it and we click on platform here, you guys can see that's the floor that we use in our in our pipe roulette games. Now you don't have to use this material. It's just the, we're just showing the material that we use. But if you want to do like a Minecraft floor, then you know you could do just pretty like much any theme this. floor that you guys like. <laughs> yeah, any theme floor you guys like. You could do something like that. Even that doesn't look too bad. You know. <laughs> Is this supposed to be Minecraft sand? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> now, for the pipes, uh, you might be wondering, like, how do we make them just completely plain? Well, it's actually a material called Debug White. As you can see, if you just if you type in Debug, you can see there's just two options. Uh, cube, cube Map Model and Debug White. So let's choose Debug White, and then, boom. Congratulations, you've made the white pipe. <laughs> Just like that. That's literally what the white pipe is. It's literally this. The white pipe. Well, even if it is a white pipe, there's still something missing. <laughs> there is still something missing. So, now as you guys can see, we can still see at the very bottom. So if there was a number down here, we would be able to see it just by... Oh, yeah, yeah, you guys would be able to know what number it is already. It. So I'm going to show you guys what I did to cover it up. We're going to go ahead and spawn a... It's a it's a it's a circular plate. You're just gonna find it. There it is. Wait, is this it? No, that's two by two. There we go. Circle four by four. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and spawn it. Oh, it's spazzing out. Disable collision. Now, as you can see, it's the same width as the pipe. Yep. Right. So let's put it around where the first cylinder ends, I guess. So right around here. That looks pretty good. Now, it is exposed on the edges a little bit, so let's fix that. 
This could be where a re where the resizer tool could come into play because if you're if you're having trouble like fitting it in the tube exactly, you can go to the resizer tool, which is the tool that you get from the workshop, by the way, and you can change the size. So one is normal size. Like if I change the resizer to one and I do this, it does nothing. But if I change it to like two, it makes the object two times bigger, as you can see. <laughs> the same thing would happen if I were to put this down and then. Yeah, see, it makes it bigger. <laughs> Let's put it back to one. <laughs> so this is normal size. Now you can put it just under normal size. Let's say 0 0.96. There you go. So as you can see, now it's inside the pipe without going over the edges. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, now normally, like when you're finished building something, you enable collision again. But don't do that with this, because otherwise... This is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the 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 freaking pipe is all clogged up. You won't even get in and see what you're scoring. Yeah. So this one, you want to leave collisions off, so then you can just fall right through. Now the material that I used for this is also called debug, but this time it's called debug env cube map model, which is completely black. What the heck? For me, it's blue. <laughs> Well, for some people, it might be blue. You could do that, or you could use debug white and then just do something like this. Yeah, I was going to say that. You could do debug white and then color and then it black. And then color it black. Yeah, you can see Brandon colored it black. Yeah, see? <laughs> just, you could use anything, whatever, whatever, to cover it up. Yeah. Just, just, make sure, up. just make sure you cover it up, because otherwise people are already going to see what's at the bottom. Yeah. So, yeah. And then... You know, if you want this to be a red pipe, then you can change... You can go to your color tool, by the way, which is under Render. Let's say you want to make it a red pipe. You know, you can make it a red pipe. Now it's a red pipe. Or you mm -hmm. can make it a blue pipe. See, now it's a blue pipe. You can make it a yellow pipe. You can make it a lime pipe. Well, actually, that's more yellow. You can make it a lime pipe. Or green pipe around that shade of green or you can literally make idea. or you can literally make up your own color like magenta or something <laughs> if you want to yeah. come if you want to come up with your own pipes yeah if you guys want to come up with your own pipes then yeah you don't have to actually you don't have to actually do it our way if you want to yeah. make your own pipes then yeah yeah like if you want you can make cyan freaking dangerous <laughs> For whatever yeah. Because <laughs> in, in our one, it's like a 10% risk with a bonus. Yeah. But if you want, you can make it just however you like it. Yeah. That's actually another thing. A lot of people are confused on, like, how exactly we determine what's at the bottom and whether it's safe or not. But we'll talk about that in a bit. Yeah. So, yeah. so let's. Go. I'm going to go ahead and color this white again. By the way, if you want to automatically undo, like, a color... Uh, and put it back to white, or the, or the default color, then just press R while having the color tool. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the other pipes that actually have materials. For example, uh, the glitch pipe. Again, it's under materials. So, uh, the glitch pipe, we use, again, phoenix underscore storms. And this time, it's called Wire. Now, as you can see, there's three of them. Blue, green, and red. The green one is what we use for glitch. And boom, there's the- and boom, it's the glitch pipe. Now, you don't color at all. It's just the material. So that's the glitch yeah. pipe. Or, if you want to make up your own pipe, nope. you could make- you could make it blue. Or red. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's- Pretty much the glitch pipe. Now, Again, you guys can customize your own pipe. You don't have to actually do it the way we do. Yeah, and if you're wondering what the Doom pipe is, it's called XQM. And it's this one here that's called Light Lines Red. Right here that I click on. It looks it looks like a blank material, but it's not. Because if, if I click that and then I put it on the pipe, boom. There's the Doom pipe. See? <laughs> the most dangerous pipe in Pipe Roulette. So far. Mwah. <laughs> 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 and just real quick, for the for the glow pipe, it's called V under... Okay, I just type V underscore, and then there it is. V underscore slam, new light two. This is the glow pipe that John used. Oh, jeez. <laughs> or, or, or you can do something with the, with the other one, red. So yeah, there you go. Oh, actually, one more thing. For pipes like the gold pipe and the lavender pipe 
and now oh, the yeah. ruby pipe and the emerald pipe. So, you know the shiny material that we use on them? Well, that is optional, but if, if you guys do want to use that material, you're actually going to need to have Team Fortress 2 installed, because it's actually a Team Fortress 2 texture. If you don't have Team Fortress 2, unfortunately, that texture is not going to be available. And it's called... If you type in ice in the search thing, you can see it's called models player shared ice underscore player. So if we materialize this pipe with that, there it is. Now, of course, when we do gold, it's like a orangey yellow. Boom, there's the gold pipe. And lavender is like a light bluey purple. <laughs> Jeez. There's, yeah, the, there's the lavender pipe. Emerald is a dark green. Well, actually it's more right here, yeah. That's emerald. And now ruby is like bright pink. So yeah, there you go. But like I said, if you want to use this material, then you're going to have to have uh, Team Fortress 2 installed, or at least its textures. You can still do it without it, like, for example, if I switch back to the default, like, you can still do it without it, like, you know, Ruby, even that doesn't look too bad, right? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, like, if, if you were to do yellow and gold, you can see that's yellow. You have to make it distinctly different, so let's say that's yellow, and, uh, like, this is gold. Uh, you can tell there is a slight difference, however, that might still be a little bit difficult, especially for people who are uh, colorblind. So yeah. If it helps, you could also, like, like actually put the names- whoops. You could actually, like, put the names of each pipe and put it in front of the pipe. We actually have thought about doing that before. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's basically the gist of building a pipe. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Oh, actually, real quick, we forgot to go over how to build a side pipe. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, and the wall. So, just real quick, for the walls, you could just use, use, like, you know, one of these if you wanted to, you know, build the wall, or you can use one of these. Actually, I think that I think that one there is actually the one that I use. Why does it keep doing that? <laughs> okay, help me freeze it in place. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so again, disable collision, line it up with the floor and the outside. There you go. And then enable collision again. And again, it's recommended you use the duplicator to add more. Like so. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Now as for the wall texture, you guys can use any texture you want, like we said, but the one that we use is called Dome. So you can see I typed Dome. It's Phoenix Storm's Dome. Boom. That's the wall texture that we used. So I completely forgot to mention this here, but if you want to make the wall taller, then you can just stack the wall blocks on top of each other to make it look like the wall is taller. And just make sure that they're properly lined up with each other so that it looks good. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, now to build a side pipe. Now again, you're going to want to start building this from the top. So we're going to start by actually spawning a smaller uh, uh, tube, so something like this. And instead of it being upright like this, we're actually going to tip it on its side. Like that. Mm -hmm. And then just put it on the ground so that it'll line up. So as you can see, it's like that. And yep. then just put it on the edge, like maybe like right here or something. Make sure it's, li make sure it's lined up. That looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. If you want to get a head start, you can immediately start, you know, like, texturing them, right? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So, in order for it to go down, we actually have to spawn uh, this object, which is on a 90-degree angle. It's called 2 Ben 2 by 2 90 Uh, scratch that. That's the small one. It's called... Two, it's the 4x4. Four four. Yes, it's the 4x4 four four 90. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 4x4 four four 90. So, whoops. Yeah, 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 totally. You have to stick it in the... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so... Again, disable collision so it's easier. And then you want to line it up with this as best as you can. <laughs> Recommendation. 
don't do it, Brandon. Just did materialize it after you've positioned it because it's way easier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, and then enable collision again. Then that actually looks really smooth. Mm -hmm. So again, spawn a tube and start building your pipe up to down. Now, uh, same thing with the w w w with the cover, because yeah, you don't want to see what's in the bottom. Now, actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to right-click on the, the black circle here, and I'm going to duplicate it. And then when I spawn yeah. it, you can see that it's already black. You don't have to materialize it again. So... That's why, this is, yeah, this is why we recommend you duplicate instead of, like, you know, spawning another one and... And like you know, trying to find the material to cover it again. Yes, you can still do that, but it's faster to use a duplicator. Yeah. So there we go. We've colored. We've colored. We've colored. We've covered up the pipe. And uh, let's make this a sign pipe. Why not? <laughs> or whatever you want. <laughs> now, for covering it up this way, it's actually the same object, which is this one. But. It's a little more trickier because you have to do it upright. So when I, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to lean it against the wall so that it's it actually goes upright like that because because of collision. Mm -hmm. It's actually a good way to align it. So let's lean it upright against the wall like that. And let me take let me disable collision. Let me take the corner of it and then let's try and line it up with this as best as we can. Right around there. There you go. Now, instead of making it the same material as the floor, because that doesn't look very good, we're going to make it the same material as the wall, which looks better. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I've lined up the wall here. So, in order to make the wall look good, we're actually going to spawn one of these triangle things, which looks like... Oh, yeah. This, I actually forgot which... It's 4x4, four four, it should be. It, ah! <laughs> no, no, don't! Ah! <laughs> okay. There we go. So it's one of these triangle things. And we put one on each side, because it, it does look really good when you do that. So let's lean it up against this thing. Whoops, let's enable collision on that. Don't do that, guys. Don't forget to enable collision once you finish building it. Yeah. Because <laughs> eventually you might forget about it later on. Next thing you know, players are walking through it. So, yeah. Let's go mm -hmm. ahead and line this up right here. Looks all right. Okay. Enable collision. Materialize it. Boom. Now, I'm actually going to duplicate this and go on the opposite side like this and position it this way. Let me go in a little bit closer... You can see on the on the edge there, it's lining up. Boom! Already in place. Now, of course, I can move it a little bit with the physics gun just to line it up more, but mm -hmm. but yeah, it's already in place. And as you can see, it's connecting with the wall. But if you want to make it a little nicer, you can move the wall in like that, and boom. You got a nice looking side pipe here. Yep. And you could you could add you could add another thing here on the top so that it looks better and that it's actually being covered, but yeah. Mm hmm Like this. Like I was saying earlier, keep refining with the setup until you get something you like. Yeah. So yeah, you can do so yeah, you can do that. And then if you want, like you can also like move these up so that it starts up here. Actually, that looks even nicer. If we do that. Mm -hmm. And that's actually what I did in the pipe roulette. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> There you go. And then you just yeah, then you just place stuff under here to fill in the gaps, of course. Mm -hmm. 
like that. <laughs> but yeah, you guys get the picture. We're just, like you can just keep building and building until you until you like what until you like what you see. Whoops. <laughs> then of course you just keep building the wall, but you can use the longer one, of course. But yeah, so mm -hmm. there you go, side pipe. Yep, there you go. But of course, if you want to build a side pipe right next to this one, then you would keep this wall uh, going, and then you wouldn't you wouldn't like put the triangle until the string of side pipes ends, of course. Mhm. Mm yeah. So yeah, that's basically the basics of building the arena. So now this is what Brandon was talking about earlier. So of course, this is like a pain to build. So what you definitely want to do is you want to save your game. You want to save. Uh, you know, the Piper Led Arena, so you don't have to go back and start all over again, because that's going to take you hours. Mm -hmm. So, so like, for I, example, like, for example, if you're, like, if you feel burned out from trying to build this arena, and this is still not done, obviously you can save it, and then you can obviously reload the save, and then continue it, and then save it again to, and then delete the other save, because that one was just a, meant to continuation. Yes, but, but once you're finished it, make sure you save that then, because yeah. then you have your finished arena for whenever you want to set up a pipe roulette game. Yeah, what I do recommend is that if you do want to, be sure to keep the arena and all that stuff. Before you save, be sure you put everything on, uh, let me see, where is it? Be sure you put everything on white again if you want to set up like a new one, or like a, yeah. like a new round. A new round. Make sure everything is, is white so that you can you know, change the pipes again when you're ready. Yeah, like so. ready for like another another new save. Yeah, so I'm, I'll show you guys how to save it. So you want to hold Q to open up your menu and you, you should see a tab that's called saves. And uh, don't mind this, this is other Piper Let stuff that I've saved, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, and there's the Christmas thing I did, as you guys can see. Anyway, so you see this thing where it says <laughs> save game? You want to click on that. Now, depending on how big your arena is, it, your game might temporarily freeze, but just let it do its thing. Just let it yeah, do just, its thing, and it'll yeah, be fine. If it, if it, yeah, it's a normal thing about Gmod. Um, if you try to save, like, you know, it'll temporarily freeze. Yeah. But when it's not frozen anymore, that's when you know the save is done and completed. Yeah, so you click save game. Of course, that didn't take very long at all, because we don't have a very big thing set up here. But if it was a bigger one, it would take a lot longer. So yeah, that's the basics of building a Piperlet Arena. So now let's talk about how exactly the game works and how we determine uh, which pipe is safe. Because I know a lot of people were confused by that. So let's show you guys how we do it and how we determine what's at the bottom. All right, so as you guys can see, we have loaded in uh, the basic 30 pipe arena save that we use for pipe roulette games. Now, do keep in mind, loading saves can also uh, freeze your game temporarily, but just don't click and let it do its thing and you'll be fine. And to load I should, in a... Yeah, I should also mention that, um, like, you know, in case if it does freeze for, like, a very long time, then you might... Um, it, it's possible that, like, you know, your Gmod can't handle it, or, like, your computer can't handle with too much of these things. So it yeah. is recommended that if you're gonna make, like, a 30-pipe thing like this, then maybe... Then, like, you know, maybe try and get, like, a really good computer so it can handle... Yeah. Either that, or... Up. Either that, or... Uh, completely finish a small pipe roulette arena first, and then see yeah, if like, it handles for that. Example, for example, like, our very first one, we only had 16, but it was still playable. Yeah, it's still really good with 16 pipes, or even 20. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Which, by the way, to load in a save, you just go into saves, and then you find the one you want to load, and then you click load. As you can see, this button down here. Now, this is where the LED screens come into play. And that, so, as you can see, like, we have all the LED screens here showing the ability of every single pipe here, right? Mm-hmm. If you want to know how to type in these LED screens, uh, you can see I'm already on the LED screen menu. So for this example, uh, we're going to type in what the green pipe does. So if we go over here, I'm just going to do it over here, because why not? So you see there's three things, or there's type. So what type does is, is it determines if your text moves from left to right, or right to left, or if it moves back and forth, like this. Or type 4, which basically makes it uh, hold in place. That's the one you want. Type 4. 
uh, don't you don't need to bother with the speed. Now the wide is basically like how wide the LED screen is. By the way, I'm also hitting Z to get rid of the object. Mm -hmm. So you can see the higher the wide, the wider it is. So for like for like demonstrating like what the pipe does, you want to use like the longest one, which is eight. But for the risk, we use four. So yeah, as you can see, four here, we can just, let me just color this text green. Yeah, you can change the color of the text. Mm -hmm. um, like so, so we'll put it around here, which is green. So as you can see, there we go, 0% risk. So in this text box here, you can basically type whatever you want. So green, and then leave a few spaces, one to three points, whoops, points. And then, as you can see, if you place it, the text is on it. Now, the reason why this is happening is because it's too small. So that's why you need the wide all the way up to 8. And be sure it's type 4. And be sure it's type 4 so the text doesn't move. Yeah. <laughs> then you can also grab it, you can position it. You can either line it. Yeah. Now, it doesn't, really say, it doesn't really say about the LED screen, but if you do wish to copy what the text says on screen, then press R on the thing that you want to, then it's already in there. Yeah, so you can see I, I typed in the green one to three points here, but let's say I wanted to I wanted to say the Ruby Pipes ability. So if I press R, you can see that it's, it's automatically copied it onto here. So then I can just go over here. And by the way, if you want to replace a text on an, on an already existing LED screen, you right click on it. So as you can see, another one didn't spawn, but it basically uh, put what I had on here onto this LED screen. Yeah, right? left click is like spawning like this, for example, and then and then if you and then if you want to replace it, just just like you know, copy whatever, and then just right click to update. Yeah, it's very it's very useful to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, that's the basics of doing an LED screen. I hope that explanation was clear enough. Now. This actually makes this a lot easier, but what we actually have over here is that we've actually placed down all the pipes that we use, and we've already colored and materialized them. So let's say we want yeah, to so... well, let's say that we want to use like a doom pipe, for example. We can literally just right click on this to copy the material, and then go to any pipe we want, and then boom. Now this is a doom pipe, just like that. Yeah. Or if we want to make uh, a gold pipe. We have, we have, you have to copy the material and the color. So first we copy the material, and then we put the material on the pipe. Like that. Mm -hmm. And then you want, and then you go to the color tool, and then you copy the color. Copying for the tool gun is right click, by the way. And then you go ahead and place it on the pipe. So now we've just made this pipe a gold pipe. Yep. <laughs> like so. So yeah, Brandon and I are going to color these pipes individually, and then we'll go over how the game actually works. Alright, so as you can see, we have colored the whole arena. We have at least one of, of every single pipe that we've used in Pipe Roulette so far. So right off the bat, uh, if you're looking for the numbers that we use, it's under your spawn lists. You go to add-ons, and you scroll down until you see TF2 letters, and you can see it's these things here. Right? Now, of course, as you guys can see, they look really small, right? But that's, again, where the resizer tool comes into play. So we like to set the resizer tool at around 4. And then and then freeze them in place. Actually, it's 4.2. Yeah, 4.2. That looks better. And then you freeze it in place. And if it's good... Like, if it's good and, and it's a positive 2, you color it green... If it's a negative two, you color it red. And if it was a zero, you would just leave it white. <laughs> or if it was a golden one, I know this is a two, but if it was a golden one, like you see in the gold pipe, then you make it a golden color like that. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm just putting up <laughs> a zero. So yeah, if, if you put, like, white pipes in your pipe roulette, just automatically throw a zero in it, because as you can see, that's literally the ability. I mean, you don't have to use our abilities, but this is the ability that we use for white, so we're just gonna automatically put a zero <laughs> in it. Because white is literally zero points with no risk. So with these, specifically with green and vanilla, all we have to do is, you know, 
randomize the value. So, mm -hmm. um, now it's recommended that you actually use a random number generator for this. Yeah. You and, don't have to actually use the one that me and Rai use, the one that says the numbers. You can just use any RNG that can at least go between 1 to 100. Yeah. But sometimes in this scenario, you do need one where you, you do need to set one up where it, it goes from 1 to 3. Because you can see the green pipe is 1 to 3 points. So we don't need to do a 1 to 100 thing because there's no risk. So you're supposed to have no chance of dying if you go in it. So let's go yeah. ahead and see what this green pipe is going to be. So I've set my number generator to pick a number between 1 to 3. So let's see what it's going to pick. 1. 1. So this green pipe is just, is just going to have 1 point at the bottom. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and spawn the 1 right here. Let's resize it. Let's freeze it in place so that somebody doesn't step on it and, may, and then it'll go freaking out. Let's make yeah. it green. <laughs> So this green pipe is worth one point. Now the vanilla pipe, notice that it says one or five points. So nothing in between, it's just two options, one or five. So this time I'm gonna do a number generator between one to two. And if it picks one, it'll be one point. If it picks two, it'll be five points. So let's see. Two. Five points. So this vanilla pipe hey. <laughs> will be worth five points. So let's go ahead and spawn the five here at the bottom, resize it, and color it, and freeze it in place. Actually, now, what I forgot to say is that um, anything that you wish to dupe, like if you want to dupe the numbers, you can also save those as well. Yes, yeah, so you so can like, duplicate you know, you, the numbers, yeah. Yeah, you can duplicate the numbers too. Pretty much you can duplicate anything, and if you want, you can save the dupe, kind of the same way you, you save your game, except under the dupe section. Yeah, exactly. Don't mind these dupes that you see here, guys. It's for f it's future videos. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the pink pipe, there's only one option. Six points plus skip a turn. So let's go ahead and spawn the six at the bottom. Now, when you spawn a six or a nine, just so you can... I mean, you can already tell the difference between the, the six and the nine just by, like, the shape. As you can see, like, if I see the six upside down and I spawn a nine next to it, you can actually already tell the difference between the six and the nine. The six has a small bottom and the nine has a big bottom. <laughs> 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 but regardless, if you really want to be clear, I mean, we do this. It's recommended that you, when you spawn in the six, you actually spawn a sideways eye below it. So if you turn sideways and you spawn an eye, and you don't resize it, it looks like a line. So you can just color that, and then you can see it looks like a 6 with a line under it. Just so you can tell the yeah. difference between a 6 and a 9. Yeah, true, because sometimes some people can jump, like, you know, at the... Like, yeah, they can, this side. Yeah, they, they can, ju they can they jump can jump through the pipe on the opposite side, and then they look at the number upside down, and it might look like a 9 when it's actually a 6. So the line yeah. is basically showing the bottom. Now, of course, pink pipe, you have to skip your turn, so let's go ahead and add an LED screen, make sure the white is 8, make the text red because it's a nerf or a penalty, and then we type mm -hmm. skip your next turn, and then we go ahead and spawn that. Now, as you can see, on the ground, it's really shiny in the light, so if you want, um, you could set it to a black material so it's easier yeah, to you see. You don't necessarily have to if you can still read it, but... That's just another suggestion. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and freeze that in place. So, yeah. And, yeah, you, you can duplicate this, too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah. But, anyway, yeah, let's skip your next turn. So, now we actually get into the real randomization of it. So, what I usually do when I set these up is I have two number generators going. One that always gives me a number between 1 to 100, and another one where I do alternate options, like we just did for the green or the vanilla. So I'm going to let Brandon do the 1 to 100 number, gener number generator. Oh, now, <laughs> the reason why we do an, uh, we generate a random number between 1 to 100 is because that's what these percentages mean. You can see the blue pipe, which is what we're about to do. It says 20% risk. That means the player has a 20% chance of dying and losing points when they go in the pipe. So in this case, if Brandon's number gen if Brandon's number generator picks 20 or below, then the blue pipe will be bad and the player will die when they go in there. But if it picks a number above 20, which is more likely, then the pipe yeah. will be and the pipe will be safe and you'll get 3, 4 or 5 points. Now, also by the way, Death penalty low, just for people who are curious. 
uh, at least the way that we play our game. Death penalty low means it's only negative one or two. Uh, death penalty medium means it's negative three or four. Uh, high death penalty, as you can see, it's always negative five. And extreme death penalty is negative six or more, as you can see. <laughs> and death penalty here is just random. <laughs> it's just random for these. Oh, wait, why? Hang on, why isn't the glow pipe here? What the hell? Why? <laughs> My bad, let me go ahead and add it. Okay. Glow- <laughs> No, it's supposed to be- It's supposed to be, like, glowy green. Okay, glow. <laughs> Random points. <laughs> there we go. And then... Unknown risk. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, it's not for- It's not perfectly lined up, I don't care. You know why these randoms and- Well, I guess specifically the black. Mystery, any mystery pipe, it's kind of like your choice of what you want for these pipes. <laughs> yeah, except for the rainbow pipe. We'll show you guys how we do the rainbow pipe later. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. You can, yeah, you can also change the material of the LED screens, and then you can do yeah. that, what I just showed you. So yeah. But anyways, mm -hmm. like we said, we're going to generate a number between 1 to 100. And if the number... 1 to 100 and not 0 to 100, because, um, you know, 0 would already be... It, it can't be the same thing as 0% risk, but like, you know... We'll yeah. still have it to 1 to 100. Yeah, 1 to 100, because 0% risk, there's supposed to be no risk at all. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and do the blue pipe. So it has to pick a number above 20 for it to be safe. What's it going to be? 85. 85, wow. so that means it's safe. So let's go ahead and go in this yeah, because pipe. Because it was more than 20. Because it was, yeah, it's safe because it was more than 20. Now let's generate a number between 3 and 5. How many points is going to be in it? 5. Damn! Okay. Wow. <laughs> So Already that is a good, a good blue, pipe. blue pipe. Yep. So people are going to be very happy when they jump in this. Why is that gray? Why is that yellow? There. Yeah, okay, guys. So basically, when they get the when they get the pipe roulette, these are already pre-made levels. Yeah, they're when, already pre-made. The yeah, they're pre-made yeah. levels when you start the game, and yeah. That's why it's always recommended that the person who sets it up does not play because they might already know what's in them. Just be the just be a you know the the host, the spectator. Just like mm -hmm. I was in the first one and like John was in the second one. So yeah. Yeah. All right, so now this yellow pipe. So for this yellow pipe it's a 40% risk risk. So now the number generator ha has to pick a number above 40. Let's see what it does. Oh jeez. 7. <laughs> <laughs> well, that unfortunately, that was under 40, so it's a death. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, our low death penalty is either negative 1 or 2. So let's see, is it going to be negative 1 or negative 2? 1. Okay, that's actually not bad. Yeah, negative 1 is not bad. No. Like, if you get like if you get negative 1, it's like, oh, okay. Because it's, it's literally oh, just... Oh, yeah. Hmm? We should also explain that we, that we the mines we put for death penalty. I was just going to say that. It's under Entities... Half-Life 2, Combine Mines, and you want to right-click on it and click Spawn Using Tool Gun. So then you can do this. You guys don't have to necessarily put more mines. You can put one or two if you want. Just so yeah. it doesn't, like, you know, yeah, doesn't just, override too much spawn point for people's low Yeah, just, just for fun, just to demonstrate. If somebody goes down it now, we Ah! Dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Also, uh, it's also recommended that you add custom spawn points. There is also an add-on for that. I'll show it on screen right now. Because mm -hmm. we actually like to put the spawn points right here. Yeah, we, have a thing, we have a thing that says switch to empty hands, please. <laughs> and it's under <laughs> it's under weapons, other empty hands. That's also another yeah, add-on like, that we disaster. recommend. Yeah, because there was a few disasters. Because like, when you normally respawn, you spawn with a physics gun. And if you left-click on accident, then you could, cause, you could cause the arena to fall apart. Yeah. I don't care. Like I don't. I don't care if this happens. But yeah, this could happen by accident, and then boom, the wall's broken. See? Yeah. But yeah. So that's why you can customize, you, you can, you can customize spawn point here too if you want, like around here. But again, that's not recommended like though, because if somebody accidentally clicks with the physics gun, they could literally destroy a pipe. That's why also yeah. we have like destroy a pipe. That's why yeah, we. So. That's why we have this wall that's almost invisible, and you can walk through it. Because if they accidentally click. Then it'll just it'll just get rid of the wall and not one of the pipes. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, back to the game. So, like we said, uh, this yellow pipe was bad. Let me go ahead and put the mines back. There we go. Okay, so now for this orange pipe, it's a sixty percent risk. This number generator 
has to pick a number above 60. Yeah, for it's it to a mid high. It's like a mid high risk. But let's see what happens. Oops. 81. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Now, now, wow, now we choose a number between seven to ten to determine how many points are going to be at the bottom. So seven to ten. What's it going to be? Seven. Eh, that's still good. Yeah, I mean, seven points still good. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Seven, and let's make it green to tell them, like, hey, you got points, it's good. Okay, now the red pipe, this is where things get tricky, because now uh, it has to yeah. it has to pick a number above 80, and it only goes up to 100. So, let's see. We have 85 for blue pipe, 81 for the orange. What are the chances it's gonna be? <laughs> let's see. 22. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, is it, death. All right, but that's a low death penalty, so is it gonna be negative one or negative two? Two. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> so, negative two. Let's go ahead and spawn a two at the bottom. Resize it. Change the color to red. And spawn in a few mines. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Now, sapphire is a different story because you can see, well, how we made the sapphire pipe. It's always going to be negative two if it's bad. You can see it says negative two or 20 points. So that means... But there's a 90% chance that it's going to be negative 2, and only a 10% chance that it's going to be 20. That's a big high risk reward. <laughs> yeah, because this number generator has to pick a number above 90 for it to be oh, good. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see if it happens. Let's see. 33. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so, like we said, Sapphire is automatically negative 2. It's so... guaranteed a negative 2. <laughs> So, let's put a red 2 at the bottom, and some mines. Boom. Okay, so now this, now we go into something more friendly. Now, the cyan pipe. Now, here's the thing. The bonuses for the cyan pipe are not actually randomized. It's whatever the creator wants. You can put any kind of bonus you want. Yeah, you can put, like, jump again, or... Add, you know. add, add an X amount of points to your next score, or uh, next time you die, you jump again, or... You could even have a bonus jump that they can use at any time. Something like that. You know? Basically, they get bonuses like power-ups. Mm -hmm. So this one is most likely going to be good because it's only we made it only a 10% risk. So a 10% risk means the number generator has to pick a number above 10. And since we're going 1 to 100, that seems very likely. So let's see. 20. Yep. <laughs> that was kind of close. close, but... That was close, yep. but yeah, it's a good Safe. one. Safe. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead... And spawn a three here at the bottom. Because it's three points. And then we're going to add a bonus. Because th it says three points plus bonus. So let's go ahead. I'm actually going to load in uh, the duplication I saved earlier uh, from the other one. Now I know it says skip your next turn. But I'm actually going to change that. So I'm going to make the text green to show that it's good. And I'm just going to put take another jump. So it's a bonus jump. And then right click to replace the text. Boom. So you, whoever goes in here will get three points, and they'll get to take another jump. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, the lime pipe here and the emerald <laughs> pipe are the most random. <laughs> yeah. So, 30% risk. The number generator has to pick a number above 30 for it to be safe. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's so bad. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, the, like I said, a medium death penalty is either negative three or negative four. Actually, by the way, the rule we have for the cyan pipe is that it's always negative three if it's death. But for uh, these three, lime, emerald, and purple, it's either negative three or four. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's find out if it's going to be negative three or negative four. Three. Okay, negative three. So let's go ahead and put a red 3 at the bottom. Color it red so people know it's bad. Freeze it in place, add some mines. Boom. So now the emerald pipe. Now, we didn't use this much in the video, the zany gaming today. So now we'll actually show you guys fully what it does. It's supposed to be a 50% risk. And if it is safe, you, you have a huge range of points. 1 to 15. <laughs> wow. It's kind of a 50-50. You have a 50-50 shot at being good or bad in this pipe. So the number generator has to pick a number above 50 for it to be good. So it has to be over half. Let's see. 63. Hey. 63. 
Now this one is very random because it's got a range of 1 <laughs> yeah. to 15 points. So let's see, by picking a number between 1 to 15, let's see how many points are going to be in this emerald pipe. Eight. Eight! Right That's in the middle. Mid. <laughs> That's right in the middle. Eight points. That's still not bad. <laughs> that is pretty good, yeah. Imagine if it's a two or something. Oh, actually, by the way, you see how I spawned the eight? This is actually how it spawns normally, but that looks weird. As you can see, because the top is bigger to the bottom. So for the eight, yeah, we, we, just... actually, we actually prefer to turn it upside down because it looks better. See? Yeah, it looks better that way. But it's up, it's up to you guys if you want to keep it upright. Like, you know. This is just how we prefer it because it looks more like an eight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now the purple pipe. It's basically a buffed version of the cyan pipe. Instead of three points plus a bonus, it's nine points plus a big a bonus. bonus. All right, but of course, with a high reward like that, it's a high risk. So, oh god, let's see if it picks a number above seventy. Eighty. Oh. Whoa! Oh. All right, we got a good purple. <laughs> yep. So let's go ahead and spawn a nine, and just like the six, we're gonna put a we're gonna put a line at the bottom. Just so people can tell that it's a 9. So let's go ahead and put a line underneath it. And let's put in a couple of LED screens. I'm going to put in 2 because I have a long message to write here. So I'm going to put add 4 points to your. Then on this one I'm going to put next 2 turns. I mean, sorry, next 2 scores. Well, turn scores means the same thing. So whoever gets in here is going to get nine <laughs> points and they're going to get a four point bonus on their next two scores, which is crazy. <laughs> All right. Now, <laughs> here we go again with a 90% risk, just like the Sapphire. Now, the rule with the gold pipe is that it's always negative three if it's death. But if it's safe, we actually put a golden one at the bottom because what it's supposed to do is it's, it's, it's supposed to push the player who jumped in it all the way up to first place automatically if it's safe why is, why is my heart racing for this rng <laughs> what <laughs> i don't well, know let's why. see is it gonna pick a number above 90 77 oh, oh so, so close it's kind of close <laughs> but unfortunately that means negative three yeah we didn't want the death penalty to be so bad over a pipe that's almost guaranteed death, so, yeah. Yeah. That's negative why it's under the medium death penalty. And that's why it's always negative three, so yeah. So now we're going to the high death penalty, which means if these pipes are bad, it's a whopping negative five, which is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have the teal pipe. So the number generator has to pick a number above 25 for it to be safe. Let's see. 45. Eight. Okay, Eight. so that means it's going to be 7 points, because that's what the teal pipe is. Negative 5 or 7 points. As you guys can see from what we did here. Negative I guess what's good seven. about setting up these pipes is that you Well, if, you're gonna, if you guys are going to choose these pipes specifically, what's good about these is that you don't need RNG to know figure out what points or death penalty it is. Because there's only two options, yeah. Yeah. Now, Indigo is almost the same. It's, it's, it's just negative five or eight points, and now the number generator has to pick a number above 35. So let's see what happens. 67. Again! Wow. So this is going to be eight points. Whoop! <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, now, the brown pipe, this was one of the very first pipes ever used. <laughs> yeah. So, again, just like the emerald pipe, it's a 50-50 shot. 50% risk. So you literally have a 50-50 shot at negative 5 or 10 points. Yeah. Alright, so let's see if it picks a number above 50. 84. What? Oh God. It's going to be 10 <laughs> points. It's going to be 10 points. So now we're going to spawn a 1 here further to the left. Resize it, recolor it, freeze it. And then we're going to spawn a 0 next to it. Resize it, color it. Now it's a little bit off center, so let's adjust that. Boom, mm -hmm. 10 points, just like that. Brown pipe, good job. Okay, so now the maroon pipe. This was not used at all. <laughs> so <laughs> it's negative five or 12 points and the number generator yeah, has to pick a number above 65, but let's see. Nine. 
That Nine. Is so low. <laughs> That's so low. <laughs> well, that means negative five. <laughs> ouch. All I gotta say to that is ouch. Uh. So, lavender pipe. Potentially 15 points. 75% risk. Let's see what happens. 37. Nope, that's, that's, that's literally that's, about half. <laughs> yeah, that's below 75, which means negative 5. Like negative 5. Now, I do not know how this pipe was safe in John's video. I don't, or in John's pipe roulette game in the video. I don't know how it happened because we're only going for a range between 1 to 100. And this pipe, like for this pipe, it has to pick a number above 95. So it has to pick 96, 97, 98, 99, or 100 for it to be safe. Otherwise, it's death. Yeah. But we can confirm, guys, that John did actually use proper RNG. We can confirm yeah. that he did. Okay. Well, let's see. Are we going to get a 5% chance here? 99. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? You're bullshitting me. You're bullshitting me. I shit you not. It literally said 99. <laughs> what? This doom pipe is safe. Man, if only this could, if only this could happen for other doom pipes. <laughs> well, Whoops, not red. Okay. So we're gonna see a big, fat 50 at the bottom here. Holy shit. Sure as hell could've used this luck. <laughs> oh my god. That's unbelievable. How? You guys- You You're guys- trying to do a demonstration and it somehow does it here. <laughs> you guys- you, you guys understand the odds of this, right? Yeah, like, it's still said. 99. <laughs> the, the odds of this are 5%. There's a 5% chance of happening. Of that happening, I mean. But if it was not 99 or anything under above 95, then it would have been negative 5. Yeah, of course. Okay, so now we're into low risk again. So as you can see, the stripe pipe. So this me so the fifteen percent risk means that if it picks if it picks fifteen or below, it's gonna be negative six, but anything above that is positive six. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this should be good. Let's see. Thirty-seven. Yes, Ooh. of course. Yep. <laughs> okay, so this teal is going to be a green six. I mean the stripe. Why did I say teal? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the glitch pipe here. Oh no, sorry, that, the sorry, the ruby pipe is next. We'll, we're getting to the glitch pipe in a bit. <laughs> so, the ruby pipe is similar to the brown pipe, but as you can see, the death penalty is doubled and the risk is half, which makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, 25 or below, it's going to be negative 10, but anything above 25, it's going to be positive 10. So, let's see. Negative 10 still hurts. <laughs> yeah, it does. Let's see. 53. Okay. Oh, I thought I was going to say 15 for a second. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but 53 is greater than 25, so 10 points. Yay. Okay, now the glitch pipe is very random. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so I know this looks confusing, but it's actually rather simple. So the 45% risk means there's a 45% chance that it's going to be negative 7, specifically, because that's the death penalty, negative 7. But if it's above 45, then we choose between 3, 7, 13, or 17. I'll show you guys how we're going to choose that if it's safe. So let's see. 45 or, I mean, greater than 45. Let's see. 82. 82. <laughs> okay, so now we have to decide whether it's going to be 3, 7, 13, or 17. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it pick a number between 1 and 4. If it picks 1, it's 3. If it picks 2, it's 7. If it picks 3, it's 13. And if it picks 4, it's 17. Yeah, you got to get the idea. Yeah. 2. 2. So that means it's going to be 7 points. That's that's still not bad. <laughs> so this glitch pipe is going to be 7 points. There we go. Now here we go. Metal. So. Oh god, 55. 
Yep, 55% risk. And if it's safe, then we choose between 10 to 20. And if it's not safe, the death penalty is either negative 6, negative 7, or negative 8. Ow. <laughs> Let's see. Two. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay. Really? Negative, negative six, seven, or eight. Let's see. Seven. Ouch. I negative mean. seven. Ugh, man. Whoops. Okay. There we go. Negative seven. Now, the diamond pipe. Here we go. High risk again. Yeah. I mean, 85, but it's still pretty high. If the number generator picks a number above 85, which is hard to do, um, <laughs> I mean, it's with gonna the stun it did with the doom pipe here. I don't know, but we'll, we'll see. see. But if it does pick a number greater than 85, then it's gonna be 20 or to 30 points. Let's see. 74. Oh, so close. <laughs> All right, negative six, seven, or eight. Six. Okay. Okay. Not Ooh, terrible. Six. Not. Terrible. Negative six? <laughs> Negative six? Negative six points! Ooh. And that was before the extreme death penalty was a thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I put it in a black pipe. Which, speaking of the black pipe, that's next. Here we go. Negative yep. six. So, we actually do the black pipes and now the glow pipes a lot differently. So, you, I'll let you explain, Brennan, because I've been talking a lot. <laughs> Again, with the random risk, you can basically do what you want. Well, specifically for the black and the glow pipe, you can... Well, it says here, like, for the black pipe, it can be mystery, so you could give points or give zero points or lose points. At the same time, but you can also... Because this is the black and mystery one, you can still give some of the bonuses, like the cyan and purple could have. Yeah, or you can give, like, the opposite of a bonus. Like, instead mm -hmm. of adding a certain amount of points to a score, you can make it so where it subtracts points from someone's score. Or you can have it to where, like the pink pipe, you can have it to where they skip their next turn. Or you can make it to where you lose, like, like four points, but also still give a bonus as, like, a cost in a way. Yeah, because if you guys remember, uh, John had one of the pipes do this. He, um, he put negative three in a black pipe, but he gave a huge bonus, which was jump three more times. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but so, yeah, as, basically, for the as for the glow one, this is random points. There's not really bonuses included, yeah, but for you can the, basically choose. Yeah, the glow pipe is just random points, any points you want. You can make it really big or really low. That yeah, you know what I mean? Okay, so, yeah, it's basically what we're saying is for the black pipe and the glow pipe, it's not RNG at all. It's literally whatever you want in them. It's yeah. not It's not random Obviously, at all. Obviously, you know them, but not the, not the players. Yeah, so... Um, I'll decide this black pipe, and you can decide that black pipe, but we'll do it one at a time. So, for this black pipe, let's make it, um, hmm. I'm gonna be generous. I'm gonna make this black pipe worth eight points. But, I don't want to be too generous, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not, I'm not gonna have it to where you skip your next turn, but I'm gonna have it to where next time you dot you die, you skip a turn. So basically that means, like, they get eight points, which is really good, but it's with the cost of a nerf. So basically when they jump in here, they get eight, but then next time they die, they're forced to skip a turn. So that's why I've decided to put in this black pipe. So, what, what, what do you want to put in this black pipe? No, oh, jeez. This one's mean. Sorry. <laughs> Negative seven. And you skip your turn? This one's mean. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, this is, this is basically what we mean. You, can, you guys can do what you want with the, with the, in the mystery pipe. Black, yeah. Black it, is pipe. it is recommended, though. Like, if you put a negative score with a bonus or a nerf, it's recommended that you don't put mines at the bottom because then they're going to die without being able to read it. So this is the True. rare case where there's going to be a negative number at the bottom, but there are no mines. Yeah. <laughs> But you still technically, quote-unquote, died and lost points. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Negative seven, and you skip your turn. 
Okay, yeah. so now for the glow pipe, we can basically put any amount of points in them we want. So, all right, let's see how if I'm gonna put points in here. Like, you know what? I'm gonna surprise them. I'm gonna knock their socks off. I'm making this one 12 points. Because then they're gonna go in here, then they're gonna be like, Oh my god, 12 points! <laughs> <laughs> and what did Brandon choose for the other glow pipe? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Watch out when I when I host Pipe for Life Sessions. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm not gonna actually be mean throughout the whole time whenever I choose these random ones. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have one good, one bad, one good, one neutral. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, we're saving the rainbow pipe for last, and this is why. Because the rainbow pipe, at least the way that we do it, is actually a little bit complicated. Mm -hmm. It's also how we can, like, you know, it's also how we do some decoy pipes. Yeah, and we'll get to doing decoys after we show the rainbow pipe, because the rainbow pipe is, like, a good introduction leading into that, and you guys will see why. Mm-hmm. So, basically, the ra rainbow pipe, like you guys saw in the video, it takes the ability of a random pipe. So, literally, Brandon and I can choose, like, any one of these pipes here and have that be in the rainbow pipe. So, I'll let you choose, Brandon. What is that rainbow pipe going to be? Why don't we try emerald? <laughs> emerald. Okay. So... Of course, we, we want it to make it look like a rainbow pipe, because we want to have it to where when somebody goes in the rainbow pipe and they go through this, like, black uh, thing at the bottom, we want the pipe to actually look like an emerald pipe. But you guys might be, want, might be wondering, like, how are we going to do that? Because the pipe's just going to be overlapping the other one, so how is it going to work? Well, again, this is where the resizer hoop tongue comes into play. Now, you have to be very <laughs> careful when uh, doing this, because... Yeah. Um, you could, if you don't know what you're doing, you can end up wrecking the whole pipe. So what I'd actually recommend doing right off the bat is disabling collision on the bottom two pieces of uh, the pipe that you're putting in, um, like you know, <clears throat> uh, a reveal of a rainbow pipe or even a decoy in. Because mm -hmm. so now, as you can see, like if I walk through it, you know, I'm just walking through it. Therefore, like, if you accidentally click on the, the rainbow pipe, you're not gonna, like, destroy the whole thing. So, let's go ahead and spawn another tube. This is almost like building a pipe, but not quite. So we're gonna spawn a tube, like so. And we want it to make it look, look like the emerald pipe. So let's copy the shiny material. So right-click. Or, like I said, again, you can just type ice. Whoops. Ice. Again, you will need Team Fortress 2 installed for this material. Click on ice player, mm -hmm. and then... Color that, and now we'll just copy the color by right-clicking on it and choosing the color tool. Boom. Now, we're going to want to go to the resizer tool, and then we're actually going to want to change it to 0 0.9, which is not quite normal size, because norm normal size is 1. Mm -hmm. See, it's not doing anything, but 0 0.9 is just under that. You can see it shrunk a little bit smaller, but not too much. Right? Yeah. It's, if you were to put them side by side, it's not entirely noticeable. So, we're going to want to disable collision on this. And then we're going to want to grab it. Now, you actually kind of want to be inside the pipe to do this. So, you want to grab it. And you want to overlap it with the rainbow pipe. But you want to go very slow to make sure you, you do it right. Now, as you can mm -hmm. see, if we move a certain way, you can see that the whole thing is being covered. So, now we'll just put it down to the ground. Like that. There's still a little bit of exposure here, so let's go ahead and add um, a base. Let's go ahead and add this thing. Add the, add the material and the color. Resize that. And then we'll also move this under here. Put it here. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. So now, as you can yeah. see, now, now that we've done that, it looks like an emerald pipe at the bottom. Now, once we've done that, you can go ahead and re-enable the collision on the pipe so that people don't walk through it because now as you can see if i run up to it it's solid again right so now as you can see it lo it's rainbow but people don't know what this pipe is but once they go through the thing boom it's emerald just like that now you may have to adjust this black thing like move it up or down like let's say this happened and you don't want that to happen just move it up until yeah because you don't then people will be able to see it even from the top yeah 
So you want to adjust the black thing to make sure it's not revealed what it is at the bottom. So there we go. Mm -hmm. So just to make it extra clear, you don't have to do this, but I do this just to make it extra clear. I'm going to add actually an LED screen. I'm going to make it about, I'm going to make the wide about five. And then I'm going to type <coughs> emerald pipe. And I'm going to put it here. And for some reason it spawned upside down. <laughs> yeah. So I'll change the material so it's easier to read, and then I'll turn it right side up. So now, when people go through it, they go down, and they see that it's an emerald pipe, very clearly. So, like we said, the emerald pipe is 50% risk, 1 to 15 points. So, go ahead, Brandon, what's going to happen? 11. Now <laughs> Well, is this going to be negative three or four? Because it's a medium death penalty. Four. Negative four. Wow. Oh, well. All right, so let's put the wide back up to 4.2. Make it bigger. Change it to red. Let's reposition it a little bit. Lock it in place by right-clicking. And then add the mines. Like so. So, the, mm -hmm. so people are going to go through this gorgeous-looking rainbow pipe, not knowing what kind of pipe it is, but then they see it's a rainbow pipe and it's not safe and they're going to die. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's how the rainbow pipe works. Now, guys, remember what we talked about here what we, and what we did for the rainbow pipe because this is also going to be useful information because it's also we you also do the decoys the same way, but we'll talk about the decoys in a second. Now, let's actually double and triple a couple of the pipes. Yeah, and how we do that is kind of the same way we do, like, um, some of these colored pipes. Mm -hmm. We put it, like, on the side, so, like, for example, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just do it on this one, I guess. Yeah, so you, so you change Something the like material that. to, once oh. again, uh, debug white. Like that, and that's what Brandon already did. And then you make it bright green because the double pipes are green. So any pipe with a green outline means the point value in them is doubled. Now, Brandon doubled this one. So let's remind ourselves of what was actually in this one. It was negative one. <laughs> so negative one times two. About that. So negative one times two is two. So that means we're going to change this to a two. And just to make it extra clear that it's doubled, I'm actually going to add an LED screen. Uh... That's, that says in brackets, negative one times two, just to show that it was going to be negative one, but because it's doubled, it became negative two. See? Mm -hmm. Like so. All right. So when determining what pipes get doubled or tripled, you can use RNG if you want, but you don't need to. Yeah, you don't need to. Like, like Brandon just chose that one. Like, you, but, can, you can choose double pipes, you can choose triple pipes, and then they're pretty much all up to you. You can randomize it. Yeah. Yeah. But just for fun, since there's 30 pipes, let's pick a number between, between 1 and 30 and find out what the second double pipe is going to be. 15. 15. That's the th that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The teal pipe is going to be doubled. And I'm pretty sure this was a 7. Yep. Which would make it a 14. So that means this risk. this is going to be 14. So that means instead of this teal pipe being negative 5 or 7, this doubled teal pipe was negative 10 or 14. Negative 10 or 14. Yep. And again, because it was doubled, just to let them know that it was going to be a 7, let's add a green text that says that you've reached the LED screen limit. <laughs> <laughs> When that happens, by the way, you want to go into Utilities, uh, Sandbox Settings, and you want to increase the max LED screens to the max. So there we go. There we go. So let me go ahead and change the material, and then centerize it. So people can see that it would have been a 7, but 7 times 2 is 14. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now that we've added a couple of double pipes, let's add, let's add a couple triple pipes, because we're evil. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm gonna use RNG for this, too. Nine. Nine. Oh, no, that's no. the sapphire. <laughs> that sapphire pipe is tripled. Which means this negative two 
is going to turn into a negative six. <laughs> so, well, in other words, a triple sapphire would either be negative six or sixty points. Yep, exactly. Which is like a just like like just basically like a bit of one level up of a doom pipe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'll just add the line in the bottom because why not? So there we go. That not so bad negative two turned into a negative six. <laughs> Alright, let's add one more triple pipe. What's it gonna be? 28. Pipe number 28. So this is pipe number 25. 26, 27, 28. This glow pipe is going to be tripled. And what did I put in it? You put. Oh! 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 So 12 times 3 is 36 points. <laughs> this glow pipe is going to be worth 36 points. <laughs> that is ridiculous. You guys could you guys can probably think that for a glow pipe you could put anything, but like, you know. Yeah. And because this was triple, I'm actually going to make this LED screen yellow. So, 12 times 3. <laughs> Look at that. 12 times 3. 36 points. That's crazy. <laughs> and also, you can uh, also determine what the difficulty is. You can see these are the five that we used in the video where John hosted it. Um, we have this for, like, the devel developer. And this is actually what the leaderboard looks like before any names are put on it. <laughs> Yeah, we just put them there to... yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... There weren't... I mean, there's a an okay amount of deaths. I don't think there really is that many deaths in this one, is there? This looks like medium, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I was thinking maybe medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and press R, by the way, on this medium thing, on this medium text here. And then right-click here to put it in place. And then see, since uh, the material, and then since this this particular LED screen has already changed to the debug white material, yeah, we're just gonna copy the color and put it on here, like Brandon did, like this. You can see the color is copied. Boom. So there we go. Medium. So this piper, so this piper let's set up is ready to go. But now we're going to talk about how exactly we do the decoys. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and talk about that. Which, by the, also by the way, uh, don't forget to change this as well. So we had, you know, two double pipes. We have two triple pipes. You can specify that on the board, like if you want. And of course, there's no decoys, so we can just get rid of that. But at the same time, for example, if there are like certain pipes you don't want, you can always just go ahead and just blank those out or completely remove them. Yeah, like that. So and and to do that and and to you know, to do that, by the way, then you just, you, you basically delete all the text in it, and then, yeah, and just... then just right click, mm -hmm. then it's gone. But we're going to go ahead and put those back so we can actually save this properly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One more points. Whoops. Oh, yeah, if it starts doing that, then you know that the, the text you put in is too long. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why I put two spaces in that I shouldn't have. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and save this round. We're going to go to saves, and then we're going to click oh. save game. <laughs> now, as you can see, it's taking a while now because this was a big setup. So this is going to take a while to load. Okay, now it's done. See, my game stopped. <laughs> my game's not frozen anymore, as you can see. That's it actually sweet. saved. So, yeah. Okay, now let's talk about how to do decoy pipes. All right, Brandon, you were in the lead, and you are six points ahead of John. And you only have one more jump after this jump. You want to keep your lead? What are you going to do? I'm going to play it safe and just go down this time. Cyan pipe, three points plus a bonus. What's it going to be? Holy shit! No! Ruby Pipe, negative 10 points! Brandon has lost his lead! What? I don't trust any pipes anymore. 
So as you guys saw, we've built a decoy pipe. So as you can see, this looks like a very safe cyan pipe, but if you go down it, it was actually a bad ruby pipe, negative 10 points. So it's not actually a cyan pipe, it's a ruby pipe. That's what a decoy does, is that it basically picks a pipe and changes what the pipe is without telling you. So essentially this pipe is lying about its color. So you're probably wondering, how do we do that? Well, you remember what we did with the rainbow pipe? You actually do the exact same thing as you do as the, as the rainbow pipe. Because the rainbow pipe already takes the ability of a, ra of a random pipe, and then the pipe is revealed at the bottom. But in this case, it's lying about its color, and the real pipe is revealed at the bottom. Let's say, for example, it looks like a very dangerous red pipe. So let's make this pipe red. And then, what should what should the decoy be? You, I'll let you choose. Uh, why not a vanilla pipe? A vanilla pipe. So it's gonna look like a dangerous red pipe, but it's actually gonna be a very safe vanilla vanilla pipe, which is <laughs> this color. So, yeah. to to do this, we're gonna repeat the steps that we did for the rainbow pipe. So let's go to the bottom of the pipe here. Let's go ahead and spawn a tube. So like this, and then we'll change the material to debug white, like so. Let's color it vanilla, which, by the way, vanilla is like a cross between like a yellow and a white, basically. Like a mm -hmm. gold kind of yellow and white, so like that. So yeah. And just like before, we're going to take the resizer tool and we're going to set it to 0 0.9. <clears throat> so it makes it ever so slightly smaller, like that. We're gonna hold C, right click, and disable collision. And then we're gonna gently take the pipe and put it inside this red until it covers up the entire thing. And like that. And of course, we'll also add like a base and do the same thing. Material, color, resizer, disable collision. Whoops. And don't fling it and don't fling it off to the side like I just did. <laughs> yeah. And... Might want to be careful putting in decoy pipes, especially around these pipes here. So in case, yeah, yeah, you don't want to accidentally, you know. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. See, look what happened. Uh, we have to adjust the black thing because now you can clearly see that. Yeah, you it's... can clearly see it's a decoy. So we're gonna move the black thing up so that it's covered, and then we'll adjust it a little bit so that it's more centered. Yeah, be sure to adjust it a little bit because, like, you know, sometimes you can know from the outside, even like a tidbit, like you know. Be sure to check like every angle side that doesn't show that yeah. it's a decoy. But it looks pretty disguised to me. It looks like a red pipe, but it's not. It's a vanilla pipe, as you can see. So yep. now to actually make it extra clear that it's a decoy, uh, let's go ahead and add an LED screen that says the word decoy on it. Decoy. Change the material so it's easier to see. So this LED screen says decoy. Put it right there. Now I'll add another LED screen with about the same color as the LED screen showing the vanilla pipe, so around here. And we're gonna say that, hey, it's actually a vanilla pipe. Boom. Let's go ahead and change the material. Then let's just move it right underneath this. And just for kicks, what was this what was this vanilla pipe gonna be? One. A one. <laughs> wow, let's totally put, dangerous red pipe. <laughs> let's put a 1 here. Let's increase the size of the number, make it green to show that it's good, and boom. So now, somebody's going to look at this pipe and not going to want to go in it. Yeah, so right? like, for example, like, you know, mm, I don't know if I want to ask you, I'm going to take the risk. But... <laughs> oh, 1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, that, so that, that's how a decoy works. It... It yeah. looks like, like it. It looks like one pipe when it's actually another pipe. So, like I said before, this cyan looks like a cyan, but it's actually a ruby pipe. And this red pipe, it very clearly looks like a red, but it's actually a vanilla. It's meant to like, it's it's to add some like trickery to your games and some extra, like luck and extra like challenge. You know? Yeah. It's just that the difference between the rainbow and the decoy is that like for the rainbow, you know that it that it's like a decoy. For the decoy, you don't really know which pipe has it. 
Yeah, so this is just for clarification for future Piper Lit videos we do, guys. The rainbow pipe is never a decoy. So, yeah, if, if you they're see... never a decoy because they technically are already. Yeah, so let's say, for example, one set has, like, let's say there's four decoys in a round. And, you know, somewhere in the setup, you, you know, you see a nice rainbow pipe. Uh, you know that the rainbow pipe is not a decoy, because it's already taking the ability of a random pipe. So I hope that makes sense to you guys, and I hope this uh, shows how to do the decoys. And I think that's pretty much everything we have to cover, right? I, do, I believe so, yeah. So just, we've shown the basics of how to build an arena. Just make the arena as big or as small as you want. It's mm -hmm. up to you. And you can, and, like, you have full permission to use our pipes if you want, but you can also make up your own. Color the pipes whatever you want, choose whatever pipes you want, and... Doing the rainbow pipes and the decoy pipes can be a challenge, but you'll get the hang of it with some practice. So, yeah. Yeah. Apologies that this video was really long, guys, but that's just how complicated Piper Lit, setting up Piper Lit is. Yeah, and that's what a tutorial it's is. It's not actually a game mode. It's just it's, something that we came up with in Sandbox. Yeah, it's not actually a game mode. Like, this, this whole setup here was literally built. Like, I could literally take this floor tile and fling it, and it's gone. See? Yeah. <laughs> so this whole thing was actually built. This whole thing was built custom. You could even again, make a not... you, you could make a square pipe somehow if you want. <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna be. I don't know how that'd be possible. But... I don't know how that would work. I think that would look interesting, but yeah, we'll see. Maybe maybe they could with this with the same tiles, just without to make it as walls all the way down. Yeah. But yeah, guys. I hope this this tutorial has helped. Uh, thank you, Brandon, for joining. And... No problem. Yeah, thank you to John for set also setting up the chaotic pipe roulette game that we had, as you guys saw. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time in Zany Gaming in the next video. Peace out. Have an amazing day. And... Stay Zany. Yes. It's never forget to say Zany, but that works too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and join Brightcord. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, peace out, everyone. <laughs>